This week we drive up the Pacific Coast Highway to San Francisco, past some beautiful scenes, photograph the Golden Gate Bridge from the water, from the air, well, from the ground, but kind of high up. Our day begins in Pismo Beach, which actually turned out to be one of my favorite stops on the entire road trip throughout all the countries we've been to. And again, like the reason we picked it was because it was a space in between LA and San Francisco and we randomly picked it off the map, never really heard much about it. And uh, yeah, maybe a testament to letting the randomness of life guide you sometimes uh, because it was our favorite. This is a seal beach. There's a bunch of seals on this beach. That's why it's called a seal beach. Pacific Coast Highway, even in the rain, is one of the most beautiful drives that you can do. Maybe even better in the rain. Nah, probably not, but it's still nice. We're on our way to Big Sur, Pacific Coast Highway. It's been very rainy up until this exact point and everything cleared. One of the, I guess, major benefits of uh, weird and potentially troublesome weather is the fact that when the weather does clear, you're left with some very unique situations that you would not encounter on a sunny day. Uh, I am photographing this because I want kind of maximum depth of field. I am at F11 and uh, photographing this on Portra 400. Photography is pretty much just getting out there and, and doing it, waking up early and getting to the spots. Uh, today, being rewarded now. I uh, got this cool scene behind us, got a bridge up this way, and uh, we're gonna continue our drive. Pacific Coast Highway is very nice all of the way through. Uh, I would recommend if you only have a couple of days, either go from San Francisco down to Big Sur area, or if you're in LA, either head up towards Pismo Beach through Malibu or down to San Diego through all the beach towns, Carlsbad. Um, both, or I guess all of those are very, very nice drives that you should do once in your lifetime. Another tip, definitely leave more time than you think you need to just make the drive because you're going to want to stop at a lot of different locations such as this lookout point here. Very, very nice. What's your bet? 50 or 90? 50? 90? That's a 50. I think you're right. I think we need a 90. So when you come down here, it's a 50, not a 90. But now I have the 90. So, uh, ah, you know what? It could still be a 90. Originally, we were going to be staying a little bit south of San Francisco, not actually even going into the city. Uh, we were going to be heading to Yosemite tomorrow. We decided last minute, maybe let's stay in San Francisco. And uh, we arrived just in time for sunset and we were thinking about what we could do. We were staying in Fisherman's Wharf, so it was very easy to get on a boat. And uh, that's what we did. Here we are, on a boat. Shoes are still remarkably clean for the activities that we've gotten up to. Also, just want to point out how long my hotel room is. Not necessarily big, just like a, a bowling alley in here. We've got the quintessential San Francisco view. 
Actually, that's pretty nice. We then headed to my favorite restaurant in all of San Francisco. Irish pub and Indian cuisine till one. That's so tight. That's right. So this side of the restaurant, Indian restaurant. This side, Irish pub. One restaurant, one kitchen, Indian restaurant, Irish pub. Same menu available, so why not eat your Indian food in the pink lights of an Irish pub? Nam bread's good. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning. What are we going to do today? We're going to go look at trees. Not so fast. First, we're going to go take a picture of a big steel bridge, which I would consider to be the opposite of trees. We're here this morning photographing the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a brand new bridge just installed last week. And uh, the only lens that I have that's kind of wide enough, I do have the Leica M6 with the 28. But I kind of want this in medium format to just give more resolution overall. Um, I'm just going to be doing a number of exposures, maybe spaced apart by a minute or two, uh, while the sun rises from blue hour into kind of sunrise into golden hour. Um, this is kind of, I guess there's a few different vista points up here. Um, we are on the other side of San Francisco. And uh, basically there's a stop here. There's a stop that you can actually get up on the hill up top here, uh, as well as another viewpoint over there. So there's a few options. We've chosen this one. Uh, and yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a good morning. A self timer, so it gives us a little red light and then when it's ready to take the photo, just takes the photo. Beautiful noise <laughs> is the roll of Ektar being finished off. Uh, I'm now going to load in, I'm gonna do Portra 400. I was thinking about loading in Actachrome, but I feel like the scene is a little bit more warm toned than blue toned, and Actachrome definitely adds a little bit of blue cast to the shadows. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with what's naturally happening here, and it's a little bit warmer. It's also perfectly misty as well. I feel like it's, uh, you're running that one quarter mist filter in the world, and, uh, it's looking pretty nice. And another bridge. Totally different bridge. A few frames here. Maybe a few frames over there. And now uh, we'll continue our tour of San Francisco. Oh, this actually almost works here. I wish I would have brought a marginally larger or wider lens for this. And then it was time to leave San Francisco forever, or at least for one evening and then return the following day to uh, fly out. San Francisco is a very unique and interesting driving city. Definitely don't rent a manual vehicle. Although most vehicles in North America are automatics, uh, don't rent a manual unless you're good at that. Then I guess you, you can do whatever you want. I, I don't control your driving. Heading out towards Yosemite, definitely some landscapes that I wish we would have had more time out here. Um, but unfortunately, time did not allow and honestly that might be the only regret of entire season one of this trip maybe that and the fact that we didn't even eat at an outback steakhouse one single time join us next week for the season finale of film photography road trip where we will be in yosemite valley taking some pics and uh what's going on here see you next week